Hey guys, so uh, this is just a quick trick uh, to deal with environments in Visualize. Uh, so this is uh, this is a trick that we showed at our SolidWorks World presentation this year. I thought I would do a quick video for those of uh, you that couldn't make it or uh, or couldn't attend the session. So this is uh, how we can get in those spherical maps to light up our models uh, without going through a whole lot of trouble to do so. Uh, so one thing I noticed, uh, and many of you probably as well, is you know if we go online, we search for uh, you know HDRs or HDRIs, which is what uh, really light our scene and control what our models look like. Uh, you're not going to necessarily get these spherical maps. Uh, sometimes you can get some free ones, which is great, but a lot of times what you're going to see is something like this, where you're going to have um, the HDR, but it's being mapped in a flat state. Right? Uh, now a lot of times we have to. Um, bring it into some special software to get that spherical image um, and do a little bit of uh, post to get that. But I'm going to show you how we can do that right within Visualize very, very easily uh, through, a, through a little trick. So we're going to use this one here. This is just a free HDR that I, that I Googled. There's a ton of them out there. Uh, and in this case, maybe I want to use this to light my scene up. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, make the scene. So I'm going to open up a completely blank uh, Visualize project. Um, this can just be a new project, it doesn't matter, we don't need to have a model in it, anything like that. Um, so, here you can see I've got nothing in it, okay? And if you're familiar with Visualize, uh, you know that under Scenes, we can have an actual environment, which is our HDRI, and then we can also have plates, which are kind of backgrounds. They allow us to position our parts. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take this HDRI, and we're going to use it as a plate. We can just drag it and drop it right into Visualize. You can see new backplate. Okay. Drag it in there. Okay. And now that's our backplate. And what we're going to do is we're just going to render this out the way that it is. So this is a really, really quick way to, 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 to do this. So if I go to our output tab, uh, the big thing here is under image format, you'll notice that we have an HDR format option. So I'm going to go ahead and check that HDR. We're going to send it as a render. We can control the size as big or as small as we want. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, obviously, larger is probably better. And we're just going to send it out in preview mode. Okay. Because we're because we're just we just care about the back plate here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let's see where I where I'm saving this real quick. Okay. Start render. It's going to go pretty quick because again it's in preview mode. We're not actually rendering anything out. But what this is going to do is this is going to take that back plate and save it as an HDR environment in that spherical format, uh, what should happen is it's going to be able to let us use that in other um, in other projects. So here you can see it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to shut this down. Uh, and let's open up a different project and let's apply this and see what happens. Okay. So in this case, I've got my model now into Visualize, and I want to be able to use this environment that I just created. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay. So here, the environment that we've got in there is currently just a plain white environment. This looks like it was imported from SolidWorks. Uh, we want to change the way that the light's hitting our model. So what we're going to do here, and you can see I already had one in there, but this is the one that we just created. Okay, kitchen. HDR. I'm just going to drag that. You can see it says new environment, right into visualize, and that should change the way that the light hits our models. There you go. And if I zoom out, you can see it's turned that into a spherical map. Now, obviously, this one's quite large. Um, we could change the size now, we could change all that kind of stuff, but now you're going to notice that it doesn't match uh, our background a lot closer. Um, and we get a, just a little bit more realistic light. So that's a quick way uh, to take those flat uh, kind of HDR maps and make them spherical, just using Visualize, using the tool that we already have um, for our photorealistic rendering.